Okay, guys, so I just ran in and checked. The Team Rocket hideout is still available, but I will not be doing that on camera. Like I said, I'm not going to make y'all watch that. It's, it's nothing spectacular. So we're going to go take on the Celadon Gym. And is there something here? I feel like there should be something here. Like I said, all these coves just seem pretty suspicious. So, there's this dude outside of the gym, right? And I believe they did change this in Fire Red and Leaf Green, but this dude, total perv. <laughs> this gym's great. It's full of women. And he just looks in through the window. This is, this is freaking Master Roshi, right? I think, I think we can all agree on this. This is freaking Roshi. Where's the Kami house? <laughs> also, nice little touch. The dude that's usually by the statues, who's in the game corner, in here in the gym. I, I think that's a pretty cool touch. Because they included him in the game corner that they actually did not put him in the gym. Alright, we got our Pidget, who's going to be super strong in this gym, thanks to Flasby, Flas, thanks to Flying being stronger than Grass type. Pidget should be able to like sweep this whole gym without even taking any damage, except for maybe Erica herself. But I'm kind of hoping that we don't even have to go heal. Although we might have to go just to replenish PP. Because I think that there are six of her, uh, of her junior trainers. Or her gym workers or whatever you know whatever their classification is I think there are six of them that we gotta go through and if they all have four or five Pokemon definitely not gonna have enough PP to take on all of them but so far we done knocked one out and haven't taken any damage I gotta think of something else that we can do in this episode because I was kind of hoping it would take a little longer. But no, we're we're not gonna be in here very long. <laughs> I mean, at this rate, we're at about three and a half minutes in the episode now. At this rate, we'll probably have this gym beat before ten minutes. I'm not a peeping Tom. You're talking about the old guy outside. Also, my name's not Tom. All right. All right. I'm a little bit uh, a little bit concerned about this one. Wing attack might not kill it in one shot. Oh, but it did. And Pidgeot grew to 37. I think Pidgeot is now the highest level in our party. Might as well go ahead and cut my way through. Erica's the one with the black hair. Where we at? Oh, we still got 27? Cool.
Oh, the gloom. Not really concerned about that. The only thing I'm super concerned about is going to be Erica's Vile Plume. Because if I remember correctly, Vile Plumes have some pretty strong defense. <laughs> we are cleaning house. I think Pidgeot's definitely going to earn the MVP of these last couple episodes. Definitely earned a permanent spot on the team. I think Nido Queen. I've, I've said it in previous episodes, the only, the only thing Nido Queen's got going for it is if it can learn Surf and Strength. Put two pretty strong HM moves on her. That's going to be her only saving grace at this point. If she can't learn Surf, I might might have to evolve Eevee into Vaporeon. Because honestly, in this generation, Eevee can't really do a whole lot. Starting in Gen 2, when Bite becomes a Dark-type move, and Dark-type is super strong in Gen 2, then, you know, Eevee is pretty... Oh! Wait, we took damage. But not a whole lot. Whatever. But yeah, once Bite becomes a dark type move, Eevee can be a little fearsome. And then, you know, for me, I almost always evolve my Eevee into Umbreon. And Umbreon's a dark type, so... You get a little bit of stab, and, uh... You know, they, in they introduced Espeon and Umbreon in Gen 2. Espeon's a psychic type, Umbreon's a dark type. But Umbreon learns psychic type moves... So, I always felt it better to go with Umbreon, because then you get Dark type and Psychic type. How did this tree grow back so fast? Whatever. It's time to take on Erica. And I am very confident that Pidgeot will be able to sweep her no problem. And right around that nine minute mark, can we knock all three of hers out in less than a minute? I think we can. Let's go for it. Oh, that's going to slow us down just a bit. Oh, not the poison. Alright, well because we have a status effect now, that's going to slow things down. At least we're not paralyzed, so they automatically go first. I think that's a stupid... Um, byproduct of being paralyzed. Is that if you were faster, you're now slower than your opponent. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We, we Come on, we can do this. No! Come on, one shot. Oh! So much for beating Erica before we hit the 10-minute mark. 
but we got so close. At one HP away from taking it. But hey, we still beat her. We're still right around the 10 minute mark. About 10 and a half minutes in. So that, that, that wasn't a bad prediction. Alright, so now we can use strength out of battle. She's giving us Mega Drain. Which, yeah, it's, it's, it's an alright move, I guess. It's not really on my uh, usual set list. But I, I can see where it appeals to some people. I have used it in the past, and you know, it's just, it's just not for me. There's gotta be something up here. Yeah! Alright, what? Oh, dang. I really don't want to end the episode this quick. So what can we do? I guess we can, well, I'll have to go make room at the Pokemon Center first anyway. Off camera, I, I, I spent like $10,000 to get coins for the, the uh, game corner. Still don't have quite enough for Porygon, but I, I think we can, I think we can go put somebody in the PC for a little while, go grab Porygon. Uh, depending on how expensive the rest of them are, I might keep coming back and, you know, dropping some cash here and there to get, uh, like, Pinsir and Dratini. J just for the purpose of filling the Pokedex. Um, I, I know like uh, two, three, maybe four episodes ago I said that we weren't going to fill the whole Pokedex. Which I might have even said at the very beginning, but I want to... You get the experience share at 50 Pokemon. And I really kind of want that. So... While I was off camera I made a decision that uh, I was not going to go below $40,000 or poke in. So, we're going to spend, you know, another $10,000, get it down to forty, and we should definitely have enough to go get Porygon, unless he costs 1600 But even then, we should be pretty close. I also finally... Remember to go into options and switch the tech speed to fast. Yay! I can't remember, was he 1200 or 1600? I also feel like there should be 10 more coins somewhere on the floor. But, I'm not going to walk around again trying to find them. We did that part already. Oh, whoa, what was I thinking? Why was I thinking he only cost 1200 Oh! Who costs 1200 Need a Reno. Oh. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Alright, well, let's go ahead and grab Abra, because... It... Catching one in the wild, it's just a nightmare. So let's just go ahead, grab him, and... 
between getting averages now and Pidgeot evolving, we should have we should have at least 30 Pokemon now. Uh, let's go ahead and deposit you, Abra, because you are a long way from leveling up. Mm, do I want to bring Eevee back out? No, I don't. Not right now. Let's check our Pokedex rating. Ah! Oh, we still don't have 30? I could have swore I had 28 before Pidgeot evolved. Dang. And the only one in my list that... Well... I guess Bellsprout could evolve, but I don't want to waste experience on Bellsprout. I think we're going to move Venusaur back up to the top. Pidgeot, you have done spectacular. I think we're going to put Venusaur up top, and, uh, he should be evolving. Wait. Oh, he's already a freaking Venusaur. Oh. Alright. Well, then let's put Butterfree up top. Oh, but we're not keeping Butterfree. I know for a while I wanted to, but I, I just feel like there are others that we need to focus on. Like, definitely need to get a fire type. So, as you can see, I wasn't lying. Saffron City has two gems. This gem, Team Rocket's guarding. So, let's go take on the other gem. guys are significantly higher leveled than uh, Erica's gym was. Alright, so we got the Leech Seed. Poison Powder did not affect Macho. Is Macho part ground type? I guess we probably could have just one hit killed him right off the bat. I actually did not expect Razor Leaf to do that much damage. But that's what we're gonna run with now. Mankey just wants, makes me want to play Tomba. Nobody remembers Tomba. Tombo was like this PS1 game. It might have even been like a launch title or like a first or second quarter title. Like right at the beginning of the PS1 life cycle. I never owned the full game, but I had a demo that, you know, a demo disc that had it on there. What? And that demo disc had like the first, I don't know, like three worlds or something. I don't know how many worlds there were total. But I could never find a full copy of the game. You know, when I was younger. I've come across a few of them now and they are not cheap. But, you know. I think I'm going to break down and order it here soon. Especially after seeing Mankeys in this. It just kind of makes me want to play it. Because, like, your your bad guys are pigs. And Mankey is kind of like a pig. But, 
but I kind of always wanted to see how it ends. I know they made a second one, and I know the second one was not uh, not considered good. <laughs> I don't even know if the second one even released over in, here in North America. Might have been a Japan only release. So now that they're on screen, you can see that this is not an official gym. You don't get a badge for beating this one. Instead, you get a Pokemon as a prize. Which is why I decided to just come straight here. So we can get that Pokemon as a prize and be over the 30, you know, the 30 Pokemon mark. There goes Venusaur. And then we can backtrack and find uh, Professor Oak's aid that'll give us the item finder. And I'll probably, you know, fiddle with that. Mostly off camera. I'll probably record the footage. So, like, when I do find stuff, you know, I'll pop in and be like, hey, this is here. You know, just in case y'all are playing along at home. Or, or, you know, whatever. Um, but there probably aren't very many items that I've missed. Just because I know... I remember where a bunch of them are. I really... Man. I'm kind of fed up with Nidoqueen, too. So I don't really want to waste experience on her anymore. So as it stands right now, the only two dedicated members to the team are Pidgeot and Venusaur. I really need to figure out who I'm going to take with me all the way. Because I can't just depend on the two of them. I mean, can you imagine facing Lance and... Pidgeot and Venusaur are both faint, and I throw out freaking level 13 Bellsprout. That, that would not go over good. I don't want to go heal, because... I think Pidgeot can handle it. So here's where I kind of have to make a choice. Surprise, surprise! The Pokemon that you get as your prize are the two that he uses to battle with. So, do I want to go with Hitmonlee, the Kicking Fiend, or do I want to go with Hitmonchan, the, I don't know, some type of punching reputation thing. I think that right there already tells you who I'm going to go with. I'm always preferred Hitmon Lee over Hitmon Chan. So we've beat him. Give me Hitmon Lee. this up? Nope. No. Yeah, I won't hit my Lee. Nope. Alright. 
So now we have over 30. I'm going to go find the Pokemon Center for Saffron so we can mark our spawn point, you know, should we faint. We'll check our Pokedex rating and uh, that's probably where we'll stop. Should be right around. There it is. Below me. Alright, so I'm going to heal right quick. Then we'll go check our Pokedex rating to close out the episode. But in the meantime, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, it should be brand new videos pretty much every day. Other than weekends, I still haven't figured out quite what I want to do on the weekends. Um, but, you know, pretty much every day. And, uh... If you want to follow on Facebook, Twitter, or check out anything in the merch shop, those links are in the description below. And as we check our Pokedex rating, as always, thank you for watching. And Professor Oak says, Good! You're trying hard! Get an item finder from my aid! Yeah, that's what we've been trying to do, Prof. And on that, Let's stop.